This is a pair of short dragonfish, a type of sea moth. Sea moths are related to seahorses and pipe fishes and share their long snout, although their mouth is under the snout. The body is encased in a hard, rigid carapace, while the tail is made of segmented rings to allow it to flex. They are highly active during the daytime, walking on their pelvic fin rays while hunting for small invertebrates. Usually seen in couples, sea moths are monogamous and bond closely with their mate. They shed their skin in a single piece every few days to clean themselves of sessile organisms like algae and hydroids. It has been estimated that millions of sea moths are collected each year for use in traditional Chinese medicine. This juvenile oriental flying gurnard deters predators by appearing as large as it can. The false eye spots on its pectoral fins make it appear like a much larger fish from above. Like sea moths, gurnards also walk across the seabed on their pelvic fins. In adulthood, the pectoral fins become huge and lose most of their blue spots. They can be retracted for a burst of speed if necessary. It also gains more red around the face, which suits its alternative name of sea robin. Members of the family are also known as helmet gurnards because of the strong armour surrounding the head. The word gurnard is derived from the French word to grunt because of the strange sounds it can make. Over 700 species of fish are known as blennies and some 400 of these are comb-tooth blennies. One such variety is the starry blenny, which usually lives amongst rocks where it feeds on algae. Its interesting appearance and strong personality make it popular in the aquarium trade. By far the largest comb-tooth blenny is the hair tail or snake blenny. This blenny can reach over half a metre long and burrows its body into the sand or mud, much like a snake eel. It feeds at night and is rarely seen out of its burrow during the day. Gobies represent the world's largest fish family and one of the most varied. Yellow pygmy gobies are without doubt amongst the cutest. They are usually found in pairs and traditionally seek refuge in natural shelters such as empty shells. However, the many discarded bottles and cans in the strait provide perfect homes for them. The gravid female's eggs can be clearly seen in her swollen belly. The gobies appear to exchange signals by prodding the other's tail. The toothy goby, a type of ghost goby, forms a commensal relationship with a variety of sessile invertebrates, sessile meaning immobile. Here it is living on a sea pen, a type of gorgonian. The sea pen receives neither benefit nor harm from the relationship, but provides the goby with shelter and a good spot to feed on plankton passing by in the current. These war paint-like facial markings belong to a male fingered dragonette.